뭐 어떻게 되는 건데? 개미가 대전비 The shopping mall became a battleground. Jian, Pazin, and brother were pitted against Sonjo and the ruthless twins, all fighting for survival and answers. As the fight raged, secrets were unearthed, loyalties questioned, and the lines between good and evil blurred further. Sonjo, consumed by his twisted sense of justice, unleashed a web of traps, turning the mall into a deadly maze. Jian, with newfound determination, navigated the dangers, discovering a hidden passageway that led her to a shocking truth Zhang Min, the mall's engineer, was alive and working against Babylon. Meanwhile, Hazen, caught in the crossfire, found himself defending Minhai from the twins' wrath. The fight was brutal, leaving both sides bloodied and battered. As the battle reached its climax, Song Zhou cornered Jian, ready to deliver the final blow. But Jian, fueled by the loss she had endured and the strength she found within, outsmarted him turning the tables and setting him ablaze. In the aftermath of the firefight, Brother revealed the devastating consequence of Jian leaving the mall unattended. The restart protocol had been triggered, putting the entire building on lockdown for over 20 hours. Moreover, Brother disclosed another chilling truth. Babylon had placed a hefty bounty on all of them, turning them into targets for every mercenary in the city. With the mall on lockdown and a horde of assassins on their trail, Jian and her unlikely allies were forced to make a difficult decision. They held their ground, facing down the approaching attackers. Jian, displaying a newfound ruthlessness, offered them a deal, a share of the Babylon bounty in exchange for safe passage. The mercenaries, facing the prospect of a lucrative reward and the uncertainty of a fight against a heavily armed group, begrudgingly accepted. The victory, however, was bittersweet. As the dust settled, Hazen discovered the heartbreaking reality Minhai, his companion, wouldn't be rising from the fight. Jian, overwhelmed by the loss and the enormity of her choices, allowed herself a moment of vulnerability, breaking down in the face of the chaos she had become a part of. But the respite was short-lived. A bus arrived, filled with men tasked with cleaning up the carnage. Yet, amidst the grim scene, a glimmer of hope emerged. A taxi pulled up, carrying two familiar faces from Jean Man's funeral. But the real shock came from the backseat, a battered and bandaged Jean Man, alive and staring back at Jean with a faint, enigmatic smile. As the episode drew to a close, the revelation of Jean Man's survival left Jean real. Was this a genuine return or yet another manipulative scheme? The lines between friend and foe remained blurred, leaving viewers with a sense of unease and the promise of even more complex challenges ahead for Jean and the others in the upcoming season.